Cause you know what I'm saying, like, fuck. What's your name, shorty? <laughs> okay, here I go. What it is, it's your girl, Pap Chanel. I'm kicking it here with Trash Mag. Let's talk some trash. Yeah. Do you believe in karma? Hell yeah. I feel like whatever you do on this earth is gonna come back to you, and the scary part about it, you don't know how it's gonna come back. Me and karma, we one of a kind, nigga. Don't ever in your life, motherfucker. Turn. We ain't motherfucker. Me and Karma with a kind. I got something for that ass. Think you play I'm pippin', nigga. <laughs> What's your opinion on friends with benefits? Hell no. Because I feel like I don't want my nigga to have no bitch that has a fr that's a friend and they got some other shit going on behind my back. You don't know what benefit it is. <laughs> so I'm not with it. I don't want no friends with no benefits. What's the worst thing a guy can ask after sex? Did you come? Niggas be... I think niggas know when a bitch, you know, climaxing for real. I mean, like, you can sit there and fake it all like you want to, like you shooting a movie or some shit, but nah, dead it. Yeah, like, nigga, you gotta ask. If you gotta ask, I did it, okay? <laughs> I did it. Sorry to you, homie. <laughs> Would you take a cheater back? I've took a cheater back before, and once the cheater, them motherfuckers always gonna cheat, them motherfuckers always gonna skeet, these niggas always gonna be around here talking to these no good ass bitches like they no good ass. And for you bitches out there that be talking to a nigga and you know he got a bitch, you ain't shit either. So no, I would never take a cheater back. No, I learned the hard way, I never go through it again. I'm too bust off of a bitch. My standards are too high for me to go right here at a nigga, you feel me? What's one thing you never told your ex? Me and this man, like, this is the freakiest ex that I have ever had. This man freaky as hell. Um, we was together for like three months. What I'm gonna say is, I think he had like four or five cavities in his mouth or something. And like, I never really liked to kiss him and shit. So like when we, we would do it and stuff, like he would be trying to like kiss me and give me hickeys and shit. And I'd be like, <laughs> he suck my toes. He was a freaky motherfucker without them cavities in his motherfucking mouth. <laughs> I told that motherfucker, he need to go get done by some damn <laughs> pro enamel. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, me, me, with me, when it comes to telling motherfuckers bad things that I feel like will hurt their feelings, I just give them suggestions instead of just saying your breath fucking stink. What zodiac sign do you hate the most? Sagittarius. Y'all are toxic as hell. And then one thing about y'all, like y'all be coming off like y'all with this or with that, and at the end y'all just switch up. Y'all bipolar as hell. And second of all, y'all are compulsive liars. Sneaky, conniving, all y'all do is cheat, lie, and stab. I'm a cancer, we emotional. Don't make a bitch like me cry, Sag. Do you mix your friend groups? Um, no I don't. Um, I don't try to, I'm gonna be so honest. I feel like when it comes to like friends and stuff, like a lot of friends have their different reasons as of to why they stand on their loyalty and as of to why they fuck with you as well. So when I wanna go on a, some, do some bougie shit, I got some friends when I wanna go fight a bitch, I got friends when I just wanna vent. So I don't wanna mix all of them up anyway. Like, Do you go through your significant other's phone? Yes. I'm sorry. Red flag look like six flags to me. <laughs> It's my business. I don't give a fuck. Like, I done did stuff like a dude be on his phone. I be acting like I'm taking a selfie and I turn my camera around and zoom in on your phone. Yes, I'm gonna go through your phone. Let's go ahead and get this. If you cheat on me, let's go ahead and get it over with ASAP. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time and find out some shit later on. Then I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna say, I wish I would have been with your shit. So, yes, I'm gonna go through your phone. Motherfucker. Yeah, and I go through the homeboy's text messages too. <laughs> that's first. <laughs> Ladies, when that nigga in the shower, that's the good time. That's a good ass time. Matter of fact, I don't even put a code on it because I'm gonna figure it out anyway. That's some player tips right there, okay? <laughs> Who is your most embarrassing family member? My, uh, my cousin Wanye, he's a fucking Facebook comedian. Um, he called himself G-Town General. You is embarrassing as hell. You need to sit your ass the fuck down somewhere. He be starting so much damn drama on the goddamn Facebook. I'm gonna have a new job up your fucking sleeve, motherfucker. You have to work for neighborhood talking or some shit, nigga. Cause you cannot be talking all that shit on Instagram. I can't even take him out with me. Like if we, if we, go, if we go out, we're gonna get to fighting or arguing. Which type of man is the most ain't shit? The niggas that can lie with a straight face and look you in your eyes. Them motherfuckers is dangerous. I mean, lie about anything. Terrified of you. I'm terrified of a motherfucker that'll say some shit and they ain't fucking telling the truth. What's the most toxic thing that's happened to you? <laughs> the Super Bowl this year. Me and my sister Nobi, we go to the damn Super Bowl party at T.I. restaurant. Shout out T.I. We sitting there, we having a good old time, we partying. You know, it's our free night. We, it's like vacation in Atlanta. We ain't got, we ain't have too much work to do. We was free for the rest of the day. And like me and Nobi, we was like, okay, it's time for us to box. Super Bowl over with. Rihanna popped her shit. I was here like, let's go home. <laughs> 
I drive home and I had the Super Bowl, Super Bowl the fuck out of me, okay? Cause I forgot to put gas in my car. So I ain't put no gas in my car. <laughs> Kid you not, when I pull up to my spot, my car stops at the gate. So all the cars behind me, everybody leave the Super Bowl. Everybody just pulling up behind me in the line. Line getting long as fuck. So I called my dude, I was like, hey, come help me. I called Nobi, Nobi come help me. Nobi come help me, Nobi ain't gonna run out of fucking gas too on the way to come get me. So I'm like, dude, Nobi ran out of fucking gas. My nigga, he was like, well, you go up there and help Nobi real quick. I'm gonna tell all the people in the car, all the cars, go around you. Y'all, I come back. This motherfucker gonna kick the dent in the back of my car. This motherfucker gonna text all my hoes on my fucking phone. This nigga done throwed all my clothes out the car. And this nigga done threw my phone in the middle of the parking lot somewhere. And my shit still sitting out of fucking gas. <laughs> Sagittarius, fuck y'all. I hate you, motherfuckers. Motherfucker went through my phone. Nigga, I ran out of gas. Go give me some gas, motherfucker. Are you romantic? I'm a cancer, so yeah, I have a soft style. You know, if you if you worth it, I'ma do it for you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Papa T D out of two while I'm driving, you suck on it, you know what I'm saying? You put your head, put your forehead by my navel, you know what I'm saying? We can do all types of shit. I'm real romantic. If I find me a nigga, he do everything that I say one day, I might decorate a hotel room for him. Hey baby. Can men be gold diggers too? Hell yes! Like I done been with some men and they be jealous of me. Like why that nigga wanna take a picture with you? You don't wanna take no picture with me? You go out with your friends, you took your friends out to eat, why you take me out to eat? Men are gold diggers. Some niggas don't have shit going on in their life and they get with a bitch that got some shit going on, so they depend fully on that. When they ain't got shit going on, cause they ain't got shit to fall on besides a bitch. You gotta know when love is lust. These niggas out here be looking for a home. That nigga don't, right? That nigga don't love you, he love that apartment. Man, and your ass be all mad. You know the nigga mad about some niggas be mean and shit when they broke or they cheating. <laughs> How do you curve people? Well, I'm nice as hell. That's one thing I've been noticing. I'm too nice to motherfuckers. So like, I just give my manager's number. You know what I mean? So my manager in the car, was like, hey, you met some dude at the quick trip or some shit. <laughs> I'm like, man, fuck that nigga. Tell that nigga got there and run a damn date or some shit. Do you believe in taking breaks in a relationship? I feel like it has to be like a certain trust level to like actually like take the break and it's like something that you take serious once it comes back. Like you just taking a break with a motherfucker cause they mad cause you ain't pick up the phone or some shit. Nigga, just move around, go on. Cause I know you finna go fuck the whole city and then you finna try to come back because you know these bitches ain't nothing like me, okay? But like, it can't be like no little petty shit. You niggas be goddamn saying, oh, you like that nigga picture? He ain't like, man, we done, man, we done. Shout out, talk to you that week. Nigga, get the fuck. <laughs> Do you keep dating someone even when your family doesn't like them? You know what they say now, you know what they say? The dick thicker than blood. <laughs> do you argue in public or wait till you get home? Wherever the smoke at, we finna do it right there and then, motherfucker. I gotta argue with my nigga in Whole Foods. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, you got me fucked up right here, you gonna get it right now. I'm a cancer, so like, if you push me to that limit, and it's to the point where I wanna cut your ass out, I'm gonna cut you out right there and then, cause I told you leave me alone more than once before we got to this point. Should men be able to smoke hookah? Not y'all little all hard mm, mm ass man. Y'all look, mm, they be standing all on the couch and shit. Y'all know how y'all be. Like, ooh, who this bitch is? And then turn around and go hit a, hit a hookah. It's giving sassy. Like, baby, relax. Like, you gotta pick a sign. Like, niggas, go ahead and smoke your weed and move on. If you feeling that froggy and leaping, nigga, just get you a hookah pen. But niggas be like, <laughs> I'm a gorilla in the fucking coop. I ain't no, baby. <laughs> it's giving sassy. I don't care. If you could be the opposite sex for a day, what's the first thing you would do? I would find me and I'd fuck me. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like me, like I'm stingy with the coochie and I'm bougie with it. So like, I know my shit on tight. So I just be wanting to know what niggas feel because they probably ain't never felt that before. And they like, because <laughs> nobody, not too many motherfuckers would get on this boat. Who won't want to do that? You won't want to fuck yourself? Like when you walk past me, you be like, damn, I'll fuck myself. What is your most expensive habit? My first one, I would say I be trying to do self-care days daily. I try to make it a daily thing, not a self-care day. I want to do it daily. Shit, I be breaking my nails and stuff. I got to make sure I look up to point. You know what I'm saying? My nigga might want to surprise me on a date in two more hours. I got to make sure I look good. When I like a nigga, I might go buy him a Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cancer thing. <laughs> Here, it's your girl, Pap Chanel. I just wrapped it up with trash talk, bitch. I took the trash out. 